All right, guys, in the last video, we completed the Sleepy Hollow Challenge. This time, we're gonna go for this one right here. And this is the Pendle Witch Trail. This is a spooky story I've never heard about. Explore the dark tale of Pendle witches and retrace their bleak journey in Northern England. This is a virtual challenge. Participate and compete at any time from anywhere in the world. Set your own time frame and finish the required distance by walking, running, cycling, or any distance-based activities of your choice. Receive a gorgeous finisher medal at your doorstep with worldwide shipping. You can also unlock an e-certificate and an e-badge at the end. Look at that medal, guys. You guys are going to get a better look at it at the very end once I complete this challenge. This is 41 miles, and I have set the challenge for two weeks, and it starts now. Also, guys, check this out. I have nine ghost face masks up here, and I'm doing nine challenges. So each one I complete is going to go on a ghost face. Starting with this one right here on the ghost face on the end. And don't forget, halfway through, we're gonna do the Michael Myers 10K, and that one will go right around the neck of the 25th anniversary ghost face right in the middle. So I decided to start this challenge walking through a graveyard because the story of the Pendle Witches is quite a spooky one. Basically, back in the early 1600s, there were two families, mostly of women. They basically claimed to be witches from the get-go, which was their first mistake, as the way they made money was by selling natural remedies and things that people just looked at as supernatural at the time. They were poor, they didn't have any money, so one day one of the younger women in the family was walking through town and begged she asked a guy for some money. He kind of grumbled and just walked on, and she didn't like that, so she cursed him as he walked by. About 20 feet down the road, he collapsed. She was completely convinced that her curse worked and that she was truly a witch. And she felt so bad that this is something she spoke of outwardly, basically to anybody who would listen, even standing by the man's bedside begging his forgiveness. So with pretty much this admission on the table that they were in fact witches, all the people from both families were wrangled up, thrown in prison, and put on trial. As they were pleading for their life, the nine-year-old daughter of one of the women came into the courtroom and, as the star witness, pointed straight at her mother and said, yes, she is a witch. And she gave all kinds of details, which were probably from little stories that the family had told her growing up. But nonetheless, the court took it as truth and let every single one of them hang, except the nine-year-old girl, who later on in life was put on trial herself out of suspicion of being a witch. There are a lot of aches and pains associated with both being overweight and doing something about it. Feet, knees, hips, back. Let's just take it head to toe. I have chronic headaches, neck and shoulder stiffness. Since beginning these walking challenges, I've had two upper third molars extracted and three dental implants placed in my lower jaw. I have chronic back pain that reaches from my neck, down my spine, and across my upper and lower back. While walking, the muscles in my lower back contract and tighten as the weight of my stomach pulls on it with every step. The longer I walk, the more it hurts. I have a torn ACL in my left knee, and both knees suffer while I walk from the impact of every step. I have periodic bouts of sciatica, which is extreme nerve pain that radiates from either hip all the way down my leg to my ankle, sometimes even requiring the use of a knee scooter to get around because it's too painful to even take a step. I have frequent flare-ups of the muscles in my Achilles tendon where it connects to my left heel, which makes it extremely painful to walk. And last but not least, I take medication for gout in my left foot, which is a condition that causes swelling and pain in my toes. So extreme that I can't even wear a sock or have as much as a sheet touching it in bed. But these are some of the pains I have to deal with if I ever want to go from this back to this. So I've been doing a lot of walking around the neighborhood and around the track at the park, as well as the treadmill. This challenge is 41 miles, and it's amazing how far you actually have to walk just to get in like one or two miles. I've been all the way up to the main road, all the way over, all the way down to the school, and back over here to the park, right over here. And by the time I cross this road right here and get over to the park, that's about 2,000 steps. 
that's just under one mile. And that's about a half an hour of walking right there. Now, when I get down to this part right here at the park, there are actually three, four, maybe even five loops at this park. Yeah, we got four loops right here. This is the one that I'm on right now. And in terms of steps, that's just under a thousand steps right there. Um, the entire thing takes you around this figure eight here. And then through a bridge, which I call the Pennywise Bridge. I'll show that to you at some point. And then around this loop here. So if you walk the whole thing, everything you see in green, it's almost two miles. And if you walk everything that you see in red, it's one and a quarter miles. For now, I've been coming down here and just doing the big loop here a couple of times, two, three times, getting a few thousand steps. There's picnic tables here. There are benches placed around the loop if you just want to sit down for a minute because sometimes my lower back gets really really tight and painful and i just need to sit down for a couple minutes and kind of refresh and i was actually a little off on this loop right here step wise it's about 700 steps maybe 702 or something i thought it was closer to a thousand but i have to go around here about three times for it to be a mile i absolutely love this app there are so many ways that it can keep you motivated we have calories active time miles step goals any of those you can set to whatever goal you want to meet for that day and you work towards it and this app will show you those numbers changing and building as you progress towards that goal if you want to burn 500 calories for the day you can watch those grow if you want to have an active time of two hours five miles maybe 10,000 step goal all of those you can watch build as you progress towards meeting that goal I love the step goal because every step you take you see it count you can literally hold it in your hand and walk around and watch those steps count and I've noticed that that also helps me to add extra walking to my route if I get somewhere where I can go around a corner or go up farther and then come back then I will do that just to get those extra steps also if you hit the little icon here for whatever challenge you're doing it takes you to a Google Earth view of the route that you're walking and you can actually scroll through and see that route so every time you go back in there it shows you where you are on the route and again if you open up the leaderboard here you can see everybody else who is on that route along with you you can see everybody who's behind me and everybody Everybody who's before me and if I want I can say okay I want to beat this person up here today so it'll make me walk even farther another two three miles so that I'm ahead of them the next time I look all right it's next to last day before this is done I got 10 miles to go to complete this uh, this challenge and I just saw a cat run across my backyard <laughs> There it is, another challenge in the bag. That's a lot of work guys, 41 miles on that challenge. All right, let's open that metal. Here it is guys, let's get the box open and check this thing out. I honestly have left this in the box until this moment right now, until I factually finished the challenge to even see it for myself. So here we go. Pendle Witch Trial. There is the metal right there. We got to get it out of that plastic bag. Yeah, look at that. And I can already see that this opens which we're gonna do in just a second here. That is an awesome metal, guys. 
Look at that thing. How cool is that? It's got like the raven on there. There's even a little spider on there. <laughs> That's awesome. And then, of course, we have the lanyard, the part that goes around your neck, and the back of the metal. Look at that. It's a witch flying through the moon. How awesome is that? Yes, that is so cool. Look at that. Let's get some light on that. Look, there's a cat on the end of the broom. Adventure Challenge Finisher, 41 miles. That is so cool. This was a tough challenge, guys. The more I do this, the easier it'll get, but there's the metal, and there's the lanyard. Pendle Witch Trail. We got the witch hat right down there. Pacer Virtual Challenges. Very cool. This was such a good idea. I love these metals. Now let's open those doors. All right, here we go. Opening the door, the window, I guess it is. Look at that. How cool is that? It's a castle inside there. Yeah, it's a window. It's not a door. And then that magnetizes shut. Very cool. There's so many details in this metal. And look on the bottom here. Even the witch hat says Pacer. Oh my gosh, and spell books. Very cool. <laughs> That was a hard-earned one right there, guys, but I did it. 41 miles. The next one is even longer. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Give me some uplifting comments in the comments below. And the answer to the question that you guys all want to know, we need to go do the weigh-in. But before we even do that, we're going to come into the office here, and we're going to put this medal on the second ghost face there, the green one. All right, here we go, guys. Pendle Witch Trial. 41 miles. Going on ghost face number two. There we go. Ghost face one and two. Challenge one and two. Sleepy Hollow and the Pendle Witch Trail. I'm going to have to figure out how to get these to stick out forward a little bit more, though. You're up next, little buddy. Okay, you guys remember we started the beginning of the Sleepy Hollow Challenge at 367.8 so we did that one we did this one a total of 59 miles and so far this is my weight Three sixty-two. so that's almost six pounds guys it's a start i'm going to get a shower and some dinner stay tuned <laughs>